What is your favorite thing about the 90s? The fashion. Yep. Bum bags, but they're coming back though. What's a bum bag? You don't oh, know like what a, a fanny bag? pack? Oh yeah, fanny oh, pack. Oh, see, we say fanny pack. You're classy. Bum bag, You're like a English. bum bag. Yeah, bum bag. <laughs> <laughs>You guys had such a rare front row seat to watch Brie Larson become Captain Marvel. What was that like? And what can you tell fans a little bit about her her spin on this character? We were fans of Brie's before we before we knew she was Captain Marvel. And then they cast her as Captain Marvel before we were hired. And so wow. that was one of the reasons we jumped into this because we said, oh my God, Brie is Captain Marvel. Let's let's get involved with this. Brie's fantastic. Like she's she's just fantastic yeah. as a human, as a woman, and as an actor, she just brings every part of herself to the character. There's a moment where she's hanging off the side of a, of a subway car and does a flip on top of it and shoots fire out of her hands. I mean, she didn't actually do the fire out of her hands part, but she did, every, she did everything else and we were Don't just, tell anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Brie Larson, what is your favorite thing about the 90s? Blockbuster. Yes. <laughs> Obviously, also the music. Yeah, what's your favorite song or genre? Of the uh, 90s. I mean, I love pop music. Yeah. So, yeah, any sort of like mid to late 90s, early 2000s pop music is just like my niche. That's, That's it. my zone. I listen to everyone. I listen to a lot of 90s R&B. Oh, okay. So like you know, yeah, that genre. Brandy, TLC. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. TLC. I know, yes. right? It just see I just smiled there. Do you want to do a little good. TLC right now? Don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. Take it, girl. I know that you're gonna have it your way on nothing at all. But I think you're moving too fast. Moving too fast. I come out. Good night, LA. <laughs> You've had some pretty iconic co-stars in your day, mm -hmm. but we gotta talk about this cat in yeah, this let's movie. Talk about it. I, I feel like it deserves a cat Oscar, a Coscar. I, I mean, know. like something. Yeah, yeah. Give me the scoop about this this cat. So the scoop is that there's four cats. Okay. And it was Reggie was our main cat, and we had Gonzo, Rizzo, and there was one more. And I'm okay. I'm really sorry to that cat. <laughs> I can't remember that cat's name. But I'm severely allergic, so I tried my best really? to like stay as far away as possible. Whoa! So allergic. Like for real and on set with this for with real. this cat. We knew that this cat was gonna be special. Yeah. You know, and what was going on around it and all the things that were gonna happen. It was like the ongoing joke that I could do crazy stunt work and would be like fifty feet up in the air on wires and like would not break a sweat, but if the cat was in the room I was like terrified and like <laughs> counting down every second. People would actually believe that I was a cat person. Are you? For the record? Actually not. No. no. <laughs> I'm not a cat person, dog person, fish or birds. What do you hope the impact is of this film on young girls and, and women everywhere? Young boys and girls, I hope they feel that come out of this that they can that they can do anything. That you know they can dream big and anything is possible. We've already gone and done the work, we've got the solutions, and now we're giving them the answers, hopefully. Yeah. And they're gonna run run with it and just take over the world. Yeah.